Mars said this to us months ago, and he got pushback from me in particular when he said, quote, Clay Thompson is washed. He said he was over. And I'm saying it. I'm thinking to myself, okay, Mars, maybe he isn't who he used to be. I won't argue that. But washed? Let's chill out on that part. Then I watched him throughout the course of the season. Yeah, I think Clay's over. I mean, it's to be expected. I mean, who comes back from a torn ACL and a torn Achilles? In, a, in three consecutive years. Like, in consecutive years, like, by the way. I'm, like, rehab, rehab, like, in his team. defense, like, I don't know what more you expect from Clay. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad at him that he's washed. I'm just... I'm Mars, just part of it is just how great he was before the injuries, though. Like, like we, right. as, as fans and as humans, our expectations of somebody, even though they tear their ACL and tear their Achilles... We still it's, it's it's the inner fan in us, the inner child that wants Clay to come back and still give you what was it, sixty-two and three quarters. I see evidence for that. I'm and still and scared of him today. Ops is still scared of him today. Ops is evidence for that. Clay was a bad man. We seen Clay do some incredible things. Right. We 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 seen that Clay had out of body experiences. So it's like we we kind of still expect that. And then but, on top of that, he came back and still won a championship too. And he had a couple right. games where he, you know, and that was the best out. time. And that was the best time to move on from him from that part he right did, there because that's when his value that was one. That was it. That was that was when his value was at his highest. And we get this, we get so wrapped up in these dudes not getting old and not basically having to be a shell of what they used to be. Clay Thompson, I'm sorry, after 12 years and two seasons where I'm rehabbing my torn Achilles, I'm sorry, torn ACL, and I tear my Achilles. I'm not coming back. More times than not, I'm not coming back for that. LeBron James is not the standard for longevity. No, he isn't. Because ain't nobody going to do that. Tom Brady is not the standard for longevity. Because dudes ain't playing until they're 40 and 45 and still good. No. Father Tom is going to catch up with 99% of you dudes. And when he does, this is what it's going to look like. In fact, this is what it actually looked like. Guys just started tapering off. And they started going the other way. But we see guys like James. And we see guys like Tom Brady, and we think, yo, we all could do that. No, we can't. No. Yeah, I mean, Clay's what, 33? 34. That's a reasonable time for your career to be winding down, especially when you've gone through what he's gone through. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And he's got paid. He's won four championships. He's just not what he used to be. And I think I think, I think, think that's fine from, like, my perspective. Now, I know Clay wants to be what he was. I don't think Clay's satisfied. But... It's just Mr. Life sometimes. It's just life's unfair. I don't think Clay deserved what he went through. And I think it takes a, a hell of a lot of mental toughness to not only come back, but he was still averaging 20. I think he led the league and made threes last year, won a championship. Clay, like, it's a great comeback story, what Clay's done. Mm -hmm. He's still watching. And, and Clay's had a hell of a, I mean, Mark, you just alluded to it, but I mean, you you said it on the shorty. Part of the, the greatest regular season team of all time. He was the second player in the Splash Brothers. Like he, the Splash Brothers is him. Uh, you know, one of the will go down as one of the best shooters of all time. Like Clay left behind a, a crazy legacy. And with that being said, too, like Clay, I still got hope for you, brother. He, hey, ne next year is still you still gonna have eighty two games to prove yourself. What kind of so, role are we looking we'll at? Uh, so let me ask you this, Ron. In, in, in terms of a role for Clay Thompson, let's say he's in Orlando. What kind of role are we looking for? What kind of role are we looking at with him? He's in Orlando. What, what, how are we playing him? Straight sniper. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. I think the 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 three and D thing is out of <laughs> out of the window. I think we play mm -hmm. him as a straight shooter, JJ Reddick type. I don't know if you have him coming off all the screens and stuff like JJ, but essentially maybe just spacing the floor. What what Malik Beasley does, Clay can do. What kind of minutes we got for drip for, for Clay Thompson? Can I shoot? Yeah, it, it will be dependent on the game. If Clay's okay. on one, if Clay's right. on one of those burners, right. you gotta keep him in. If Clay's right. 0 for seven and giving it back on defense, hey, Gary Harris, Anthony Black, we need you. Right. Like that, that's what's gonna be. I, I mean, I told, I mean, I tried to tell you, man, I'd rather have KCP, but like Clay, Clay in that role of <laughs> Clay in that role of floor spacer. Um, now, like, I know what you're thinking. Like, that needs Basin, I think no, we want Clay think. now for the right price. Nah, and we get nasty over here sometimes. <laughs> no, but no, <laughs> that, 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 that's right. 
Here's the difference. Okay, if Ant, KCP's name was in KCP, I think everyone the, pro- would agree. the problem with Ant is Ant looking at Clay like what he used to be, and he has KCP. That's what he matching him up. Yeah, with like, like, I, I get it. Like, it's like no, 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 no. If Steph Curry becomes Warsaw, like, yeah, I'd rather have Jalen Suggs. Like, it's gonna sound crazy, but like, what, what, what you say, Anthony? I said this. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't want either one, but you know, what I mean, I, I don't. I, I'd rather put my chips. I'd rather put my chips in the clay than than. If I just need a standalone shooter, I'd rather put my chips in the clay than KCP. But I mean, KCP can knock down a shot, and he can play on the other For side sure. of the basketball, right? So For sure, and he's younger. And he ain't got the. He ain't got. But like, like we were talking about, he, he ain't got that. He ain't got that heater. Like you know, Clay hit two, it could turn into ten. But do you, you know want to put money on Clay that seven times a year he's gonna win you a game because he can't miss, or the fact that KCP I mean he shot thirty eight percent this year, and this was one yeah, of the worst averages years. Yeah, but averages like ever. I don't want to, I don't want to like averages. Be, Clay has home. a bunch of seven for ten games, so like the average when he goes one for nine and then seven for ten, he's thirty eight percent. But it's not like he's if he was going three for eight or whatever every game, that's different to what Clay does. Clay. Three for eleven, then two for four, then five for ten, then one for four. Like it's just up and down, and then it averages it out to thirty eight percent. But he's not doing that every like four for eleven, one for eight, four for nine, one for eight, eight for twelve, four for nine, five for ten, then six for fifteen. He's going on a nice little run here, and then it will be followed up three for ten, two for six, one for six, three for nine, th- um, six for seventeen, one for four, two for seven, six for seventeen again, two for nine, two for thirteen, zero oh for three. One for seven, one for nine, then he goes seven for 13. So, like, you got a game where you go one for nine, and the next game he's seven for 13. Over two games, it's 36%. But one game he went one for nine. Like, that's averages. Like, Clay's never been a, like, the average, he's always been up and down. He's a, he's a volume, he's a volume shooter, yeah, but I think too. Is. But if we're talking up. about Clay on, if we're talking about Clay on Orlando, where he's got a lot more pieces and pieces that he hasn't necessarily played with before, I don't, I don't think he, I don't think he jacks it up like he did before. But so at the end of the day, he's, hmm? he's probably going to get the same open shots, though. I mean, chill. Is with, different, oh, sure. Think, oh, sure, think about sure. it, though, Chill. He's And it's kind of like, I'm going to go to your typical chick analogies. When you've been with a chick for so long and you're used to her, you're going to get away with a couple more things because you know she how she's going to react and she knows how you're going to react. So you'll do right. little things where it's like, all right, when my new chick, I'm not just going to take off my dirty shoes and just have, have my smelly feet all in the house. Whereas with her, it's like, oh man, shut up! Oh, you, you, you'll, you'll get over it. You used to me. You you know this. So you like when he goes to Orlando, he's not gonna be shooting all them ill-advised shots, and his looks are gonna be a little different. He's not gonna be as comfortable. He's gonna, you know, he, he he's gonna play on his toes a little bit, bit more and be sharper. With Golden right. State, it's like, yo, Steve, you still not gonna take me out the game. I'm gonna yeah, shoot. He got shot credit. And, yeah, you he got exactly. credit. He got credit he got, in Golden State. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got a black card over there. Yeah, got a black over there. He, he do, man. <laughs> you know, it's just like you move to a new city, man. You gotta you gotta hop in the line and pay the cover like everybody else. Oh, and that's goodness. just what it is. So man, I think I, I think he'll but I'm I'm, I'm, just ahead, about, yeah. I'm I'm just thinking about from the aspect of him shooting the basketball and being open. Like he's open in Golden State. Can he still knock down open shots regularly? I right, he's not gonna be able to knock down. He's not going to be able to shoot 10 shots. Are the quality of shots going to be the same in Orlando as they're going to be in Golden State? Probably not, but he's still going to get open looks. He's not going to get grenades like Ox Ox brings up, but I do think he's going to get open shots. With that being said, how much much can we use him? Because if he's going one for four, right, if he's starting out the game, Clay's Clay's one of those shooters where... If he gets going early, we keep going to him. But Orlando doesn't have that kind of team where if he gets going or if he doesn't get going, we can afford to stick with him. We can't do that with him. Like we got to get him off the floor if he can start the game 0 for 3 because he's a liability defensively. And Orlando is one of the better teams defensively. And we can protect Clay for a little while, but we can't protect him that long. Sacramento proved that last night.